Tonight, we have new details of the Nicole Goodlett murder case. Nicole's skull and remains were found behind Kane Hoy Elementary School back in November. And tonight, there's more scrutiny on her then-boyfriend. News 2's Colby Thielen joins us with what investigators are saying about the case. Colby? Hey, good evening, Brendan. In a press conference this afternoon, Spartanburg County Sheriff's Department said that 34-year-old Gerald Howard remains their only suspect. But there is still critical information that they need to move forward. We are in pain every day. This pain has begins in the morning and is with us at night. For Nicole Goodlett's family, it's been this way for two years. It is a process that um, I was not familiar with, but I am 100% behind that we find out exactly what happened to our daughter. In 2014, she disappeared from her Spartanburg home. It wasn't until a hunter came across her remains in Berkeley County that this became a murder case. We've got a lot of pieces of the puzzle. We just need a couple more pieces to complete the puzzle. Um, I think we're moving in the right direction. One of those pieces may lie in the hands of a forensic anthropologist currently examining Goodlett's remains to determine a cause of death. We would like to have it yesterday. We're not going to ask them to rush through anything. Her skull was found just a mile away from the family home of the primary suspect, Gerald Howard. But we think it's more than a coincidence. Last week, Howard spoke with WSPA in Spartanburg. He says Nicole was receiving threats from people in her past. Friends told me that, yes, yeah, she had lots of dealings with marijuana, cocaine, and that's where all the problems started. But the sheriff's office says his story can't be corroborated. And yesterday, they offered him two opportunities to meet with investigators. He declined both. Multiple calls have been made to Gerald Howard since yesterday trying to give him that opportunity to clear his name but none of those calls have been returned. Howard was arrested in 2014 for obstruction of justice. There are currently no warrants for his arrest. We're also told that yesterday, after declining to speak with investigators, he began seeking a new attorney. Reporting in studio, Colby Thielen, News 2.